Hi there, Sandra here from Create in Spain and Caesar Julia Beginners to Pro. I'm using Leonardo Design Studio Pro to make some sticky gift labels for Christmas. I found this guy on Pixabay. I just chose one of many images that there are there free for you to use. And I'm going to do a print and cut with it, but then I'm going to add some other bits as well. So click on next for this. I'm not going to alter anything there, so click on next. I don't want to include the holes. Click on next. And I want to add a contour of about 40. There we go. And click on finished. So I now have my little gnome. I'm going to keep him large so that you can see what I'm doing. Now this is my layers panel. If you go to the left of it, you get the color picker. And to the right of that, you've got your layers. So you can see I've only got the one layer here and my page marks because it's a print and cut. With this, I need to release the cut contour. So if I go to edit and select it first, it always helps. Go to edit and go to release cut contours. You can now see that I've got cut contours and I've got elves, which is my image. So if I go to this one and switch it off, I can switch my image off so I can see my cut lines far more easily. So I want to add another shape to this and I'm going to go for a rounded rectangle. I'm not going to bother to adjust the radius at the moment. I'm going to click apply and go somewhere within the inside of the hat go out a fair distance and just below the foot take it up a little bit yeah i think that's about it now this shape here is set automatically to a print and i don't want that i want it to be cut tool if i do that it'll take the color out because it's saying hey this is a cut line anyway so now what i should be able to do if i select both of these I should be able to come down here and weld like so. You can also go to the piles up there and you can click on the weld in that one. And I believe you can also do piles, right click, weld. So there's a number of ways of doing that weld. And now I want to be able to see my image as well. So I've got my cut line going around my gnome and this like bubble as well. So that's what I wanted. And I want to put some text in. So click on the text and just click any sort of font. Okay, I'll go for better together. Double click on there and put in two dot 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 like that. And go down a couple of lines and put in from and then dot 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 like that. And go to apply and wherever it is I can't see it I need to put it over to the right so I can actually see something gosh that writing must be very 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 tiny yeah it is very tiny at the moment so I can make this bigger like that so you can see it now that's much more like it I want to move over to the left a bit but actually I think that is pretty much as I want it. Now you can see over here that the default for the text is print and that is exactly what I want it to be. So I've now got everything set up exactly as I want. I've got my outer cut line here, I've got my printed text and I've got my gnome. So I can select the entire lot and group it. Now I can resize it to whatever size it is that I want to make it for my actual labels. So I've got approximately 8.2 by 4.8. I generally just get a ruler out and just look at it and see if that is the sizing I want. Now eight is actually pretty big. I'd probably go down to about six. So let's take that down to just about six. And if I take this one, and move it up into the left corner. What I can do now is go to Arrange and I can do Tile Array. So if I move this to one side, Horizontal, I suspect 
only want a gap of about three. And I suspect I can possibly get three of them. Ooh, not quite. Okay, I'm only going to be able to get two in. So I can put a bigger gap in. Or the other thing I could do if I wanted to is to cancel that and rotate this so that it was in a different direction. So if I cancel that and rotate it and put it there, there we go. And now go to arrange and tile array three, four. Yeah, I can get that in and vertically I can probably get four or five, two, three, maybe four, ooh, possibly just, or maybe if I click on auto fit, maybe not, I think I could probably get that in, I might have to make it ever so slightly smaller, so let's go to apply, if I take all these and I group them, arrange, center to page, there we go, I have got them all. Now you can use this design to make your stickers so that you cut through the entire lot of paper if you want or if you're using uh, a sticker paper and you just want to partially cut through it you can do that. So now you've got the design all set up, got the numbers of them that we want, we can send the design to the cutter and I'm just going to click on send there and what you need to do is to look at your cut settings you send the artwork to the printer you then select your cut lines and you can either use the cutter settings or you can use the cut settings that you set in the program to do whatever it is that you want to do whether it's full cut per fold crease cutting tool whatever it is that you want to actually set it to so if you're doing a full cut, you choose whatever settings that you actually want. So you choose the speed and you choose the force. And then you can set it to whatever setting that you want it to do, whether you want it to cut all the way through or whether you just want it to cut part of the way through. The other thing you can switch on, and I think this only applies to the pro version, is the auto weed box which gives you another cut line around your page. So there we are, that is it. I will leave the file in a link down below and you can use it if you so wish. Thanks for watching, take care.